Welcome to the Gears of Copper SMP, a new Minecraft server with the Code of Copper datapack. In the next episodes, it is our goal to automate things no Minecraft player has automated, to do things that many Minecraft players have done before, and to boldly split infinitives that have never been split before. Now, let me introduce our members. There's me, Gears. Hello, me from the future doing the voiceover. Mox Valix. Oh, hell nah. Revolving Madness. And last, but not least, ADR Voids. What do you call a joke without a punchline? In addition to that, we're looking for more content creators to join, and you can apply with the form in the description below. Anyway, let's get this server started. Here we are, the, the very beginning of the Gears of Copper SMP. Oh, on those directional hits. Anything anyone wants to add before we start? we just go yeah bye okay <laughs> see you guys later okay so as i am just chopping down this tree let me just fill you in on what my plan is my plan involves getting some rare and difficult to obtain items right from the beginning because i think they'll be valuable later on so instead of settling down and building a house straight off the bat i'm instead going to try and sort of speed run and beat the game get the dragon egg basically because that is obviously a one-of-a-kind thing in the world. And the other thing I want to get is Elytra, because then I can fly around finding airships and finding the copper golems. That's the only place you can find them. They're, they're kind of rare, so I think it'd be good to just like get an Elytra, fly around and find a bunch of airships at the beginning, and then we can kind of sell them to people. And yeah, I think, think that'll be good. So I don't think anyone else really is planning on like speed running at the beginning, so I think we probably have some time I just want to make sure that I get there before everyone else does. But I'm hoping sort of that everyone will find a place to make a base and, and settle down and not beat the game, basically. It shouldn't be too hard to beat the game before anybody else does, as long as I just don't die and screw something up. Anyway, I think it's time to go and find ourselves some iron and some coal. Well, at least I can make a shield for when I actually go caving, so I won't ha be, like, vulnerable from the beginning. Aha! Cave. Yes, okay, it does have iron. It's not already been stolen, that which is good. And while I'm mining this iron, I want to say that this SMP would not have been possible without Bisect Hosting, who provided a great server on which to run it. I would highly recommend using Bisect for your own servers, and if you use code GEARS or click the link in the description, you can get 25% off your first month. Ooh, ADR has got a copper golem already. Alright, there we go. Full iron armor already. Seeing as we're trying to kind of speedrun, I think let's not bother trying to get too much more iron. Alright, there we go, we got a bucket and flint and steel. If we find some more iron, we'll grab it on the way out. Other than that, I think we're pretty much mostly set. Oh, I don't have my shield equipped, that's bad. I think we're pretty much ready to go to the nether already. So, now we need to find a lava pool. It is worth though, whilst we're just looking around here, keeping an eye out for nice places to make a base, because obviously we will be doing that once we have some of the copper golems. This is, this is the starter tree, isn't it? Yeah. We've gone in a circle. Okay, let's just head in one direction and not turn too much so we don't end up just looping back around on ourselves. Oh, oh, that's the airship that, oh yeah, look, there they are. Oh, look, a lava pool. You know what? I might just go to the nether quickly. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to the nether. Do you want to come with me? He came with me. Here we go. Oh, the nether. The nether. How does Revolving Madness not even have iron? I have no idea. What are your plans for the first video? I do want to get my base somewhat built anyway. I want to settle down somewhere. We should probably get some gold. 
I'm gonna go and mine some of this gold. Build a tower, tower up, build up, build up. Okay, okay, I survived. I need, to, I'm on one heart. Wait, do you wanna go to the end? We could. Let me be honest with you, my uh, goal for the beginning of the server was to go to the end. I may as well tell you now, I wasn't gonna tell anyone, but that's my goal as well. Basically, my <laughs> no, plan <stop>. was to <laughs> be first to the end, get an elytra, and then go searching for copper golems Ships. and airships. Wait, there's a fortress there. Although, to be honest, uh, going to a bastion first would be nice, so we could get fire res. Uh, fire res is... Okay, oh, there's no. a blaze here. My shield is about to break and I'm about to die. Oh, okay, I've lost a shield. Oh. I'm dead. Oh, the, I'll get your stuff. This did not go as planned. You got um, my stuff? Most of your stuff, I think. Oh. 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 Yeah, I mean, that's where Later my... Oh, no, with the skeletons, where I... Oh. What? No. I was on full and health. Uh, did no, wait, I'm back at spawn. Where did you set... So I've cut out most of what happened in the nether, because it was basically just the two of us dying over and over. Although at the end, ADR and Mox put my stuff in a chest, and Mox Valix gave us the coordinates of a bastion. Okay, so it's now the next day, and I'm going to attempt to go back and get my stuff, and I'm not going to try and get more stuff, I'm just going to bring it back, because I just don't want to lose it all. I have no idea how I'm going to edit all of that chaos down into a watchable video, and still have time to add everything else that's going to happen in this video. Oh wait, can you give me back some of my pork chops, because I think you stole them. Yeah. The key wow. was pork chops. There you go. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> okay, here you go. Thanks. Yay, I found my stuff. Okay, I have my stuff back, and I shall return to the portal. Oh, I might actually die. Oh my god, I might die. Oh my! Oh, oh, I couldn't! I couldn't build up because there was a fortress roof. roof. Okay, I got my stuff back. I'm back. I'm in the overworld Bluff. with my stuff, surprisingly. <laughs> and now I stored my valuables in a chest and went to find the bastion. I found the bastion. I think this is stables. You wouldn't know it yet, because the video is not out, and I'm not even sure if I'm actually going to post a video in the end. But I have been practicing speedrunning. Oh no, it's housing. May or may not have been practicing some of the bastion routes. Question is, do I actually remember how to do top-down housing? You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to try and do like a super risky route like I would in speedrun. First of all, because there's piglin brute. Second of all, because, well, this isn't really a world I like to risk losing all my stuff. Need to be mega careful. Nope. Okay then. You know what? I'm just gonna get more stuff and I think I'll just put this plan on hold for a little while because probably just a good idea. Bastion roots with piglin brutes are definitely a lot harder than bastion roots without piglin brutes. That oddly rhymes. Okay, so that didn't exactly go to plan, I think. Because I've been practicing, I was more confident in my abilities. I'm going to temporarily put the plan on hold, because, I mean, ADR doesn't seem to be too intent on beating the game anytime soon, so probably what I'm going to do now is just go exploring, find a base, and then maybe at one point everyone all together can beat the dragon. And I think the airships are common enough that we might be able to find one on our way. I'll keep an eye out for both airships and a good place to settle down and make a base. I think what I'll probably do is find a place and like put chests down and stuff so I don't go there with all of my stuff and die to a zombie or something and then lose it all. Ooh, this pool. I reckon we could probably build something in the middle of this lake here. You know what? Maybe we should settle down here. Yeah, I think that's that that's fine. I think definitely building something in the middle of the lake would be cool. Just quickly taking a look around here. Interesting. So there's looks like there's a lush cave below here somewhere. You know, I think so we'll We'll, we'll build our starter tower here. We can maybe, like, build kind of a, a fort around the lake. 
and have something in the middle of the lake or something. We're going to put starter base right around here. So we're not going to build it yet because we're still severely undergeared. Put a double chest here, stick down all our stuff. So one thing I do want to do is I want to try and organize my chests as early as possible so I don't have to organize it once there's like 50 million items in them. However, I think for the time being, before we build our starter base, we're just gonna have it all in one chest and hopefully we can build our base fairly soon. I think I found the tops of our lush cave. Yes, here we go. I need to quickly make a shield and I'll get an iron pick. Got more iron here. What? I had my shield up. Oh, and I didn't set my spawn. I'm an idiot. Oh no, oh no, I'm almost... Okay. Oh, I forgot to set my spawn again. Oh my goodness. But eventually, I managed to get some iron and get out without dying. Okay, so we got... Wow, that's more... Like, it was like 37 when I decided to leave ADRs on a dying streak. Anyway, we now have enough for full iron and iron tools and to leave some in the chest, so yeah, that's good. I definitely want to get diamond stuff at some point. Since diamonds are going to be a valuable currency, I might actually just get villagers and then get diamond armor from them, which is what I always do. So yeah, I'll probably do that. But to be honest, probably before getting diamond armor, I want to get the copper golem. Because I think it's probably good to go and get it one soon, because otherwise all of the nearby airships will be found, and then I'll have to travel really far away to find them. After that, I can maybe get some diamond armor. Then probably go gather materials and build our starter base. Ooh, okay, interesting. That's a really low chance, actually. Ooh, and that's good as well. Why are there no airships? Oh, uh, just as I said that, an airship popped into view. What are the chances? Got an airship, which is good. I'll just get some blocks and build up to it and stuff. Okay, so found a beehive, and now, because I got that silk touch shovel, I can get it, but... As you can see here, I have this mod which basically tells me how many bees is in a beehive. So, currently says there are zero bees in there. So, I might wait until like night time when there should be more. Okay, here we are. Let's get this golem. Alright, there we go. We're going to take all of the stuff we can get. We'll take some of these books, because books get really useful when you want to store a bunch of programs. So this is really good, we've got a lot of stuff. So while we're here, I do kind of want to get some mm. copper from the airship, because let's just say that our starter base is going to require some copper. Okay, my pickaxe is about to break, and I don't have a spare. I think I will call it that, and yeah, that will probably give us a good start on our base. And we now need to basically go all the way home. Hopefully we might be able to find another airship on the way back, but that's probably pushing it a little bit. We can at least try and look for bee nests. Oh look, there are some bees over there, there's probably a nest near here. Anyway. I'll see you again when I get back. So I've now finished designing my starter base, and so if we take a look at the list of materials for this, well, yeah, it's got a lot of stuff, and one of those most common materials is deep slate. Now, Moxvalix earlier was doing some mining using the copper golems, so I was thinking I might do some of that as well, and I can therefore mine deep slate at the same time as looking for diamonds. So let's take our little copper golem with us, and a Skyfarer's journal so we can write some code in that, and I think let's Let's go down, and I want to, I definitely don't want to lose this copper golem because it's super precious, so I'm going to avoid caves, just want to be as safe as possible and definitely do not want to lose this golem. I'm not going to go for those diamonds at the moment, I'm just going to jump down 
run, I'll put a chest down at the bottom, put all the valuable stuff in, go up, get the diamond, come back down again. This is the Y level that is the best to find diamonds because, well, yeah, bedrock spawns anywhere below this basically, so we're going to do that just to make it 100% sure that we don't screw up somehow. I'm going to have it mine blocks quite far in front of it, so five blocks in front of it, so let's have it place the pickaxe and then five blocks in front of it. Then we'll have it place, and we'll have it place a block underneath it just in case it accidentally falls into lava, and then we can move one, zero, zero. Let's just have it loop, say, 20 times and do that so we don't have it going off in an infinite loop without us, because that would be bad. Okay, here we go. Oh, we didn't give it a pickaxe, okay. And I forgot to bring wax, that's not good. Anyway, we'll put some cobble deep plate there, and as well as placing it there, as well as breaking the block, it also needs to break the block above that. Nice. And now we just continue until we find something interesting. And it's probably worth just going through and then branch mining. It's probably worth even getting the copper golem to do the branch mining for us. But let's see, okay, it's got some redstone, it's got some cool deep slate. Yeah, let's keep going. Aha, we found some diamonds. I did in the end, I added code for it to start mining branches on either side because it just seemed way more efficient. However, it does appear to go through pickaxes really fast because, I mean, I guess it's just because the copper golem insta mines any block, so whereas you'd normally be going like this and then moving forward, it just mines it immediately, so it seems like it goes through a lot quicker. But actually, it's dug a super long tunnel. Look how far it is all the way to the end. Problem is, I don't have any more iron with me to make a pickaxe. Now, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give it my iron pickaxe, and then I'll run till the iron pickaxe breaks, and then I'll go back and I'll get some, get some more iron and I'll use a stone pickaxe for the time being. I could craft a diamond one. First of all, I really don't want to waste it with the golem because it will eat through it really quickly. And second of all, because you can get diamond tools from villagers, I want to save my diamonds for trading with other people. But yeah, for the time being, I think I just want to not use my diamonds for a pickaxe. And the iron pickaxe is gone. Okay, I'm going to stick a chest here with all of the valuable stuff in it. I'll stick all of these books in. I'll take everything out of the golem, put that all in there. All right, and so after I went up and got more iron, I found some more diamonds, and so now we have 14 diamonds, nine stacks of cobble deep slate, which is gonna be great for building with. Then there's lots of redstone along this pathway if we ever need to come and get it. But I am going to be extremely careful I will take with me my deep slate. I'm just gonna dig straight up, avoid any caves, because I do not want to die with all of this stuff on me. Here we are, home sweet bed, chest, and creepers. So I think something I want to do now is get ourselves some diamond armor and tools. For that, we're going to need to trade with villagers. And to trade with villagers, we're going to need emeralds. And for emeralds, we're going to need something to sell to villagers. So we have two options for this. Either we can make a small starter iron farm, sell the iron to toolsmiths, weaponsmiths, and armorers, or we can make a pumpkin farm with our copper golem and sell the pumpkins to farmers. I think the latter is a lot easier to build early game, as it doesn't require tedious moving around of villagers and zombies, but the, an iron farm would be really useful both for iron and as well because I think it actually will give us more emeralds than a pumpkin farm. So you know what, I might actually do both. So I'm going to meet up with Mox Valex who also said maybe we should build an iron farm and I think we'll build a communal iron farm that everyone can use, but for now we will use it to get some emeralds. Mox Valex, so you know how <laughs> we were talking about making an iron farm. Yes. I was going to make an iron farm fairly soon and I wondered if you wanted to help in any way. Yeah, yeah I know a great design, like 99.99% .99 efficient. It's using the hitbox between chains and stone cutter. Alright, so Mox Valix logs off for the night, but ADR says that he'd help me. 
So it's a super simple design, I'll leave a link to it in the description so you can check it out. And it doesn't really require that many materials, I've basically got all of it within my inventory. We just need to figure out a place to build this. So I have this mod which shows exactly where the spawn chunks are. Basically the spawn chunks get loaded all the time, no matter whether there's a player in them or not. And so it'd be good to build an iron farm there because then it would run 24 7. So it seems like the inner spawn chunks, which is where we need to build the iron farm, right over here, kind of this box here until that border. Maybe we should build an iron farm over there because it looks like there's some empty space over in that direction. I think let's put it here. So on top of this, yeah, I think that seems like a good place. Here it goes. Guess we'll just start building. Alright, so that is basically the base of the iron farm done. Go and free cam quickly to show you. It's extremely simple. The villagers sit here on the beds. Zombie sits here. There'll be a bubble column here, so it'll be bobbing up and down. Basically, the zombie will scare the villagers, and because of the okay, exact precise size of this hitbox, the iron golems will spawn here, fall down, there's gonna be lava here killing them, and then all the items get collected in the chest. And so we built a bridge from the village, brought the villagers over, and set up a breeder so we could get more. Then we bred the villagers and sent them into the farm. Okay, we finally have the third villager of the iron farm. There are two up there, so in theory if we get this guy successfully up there, then we should just need the zombie to have a working iron farm. We just need to wait for him to grow up. He has now grown up. Let's see if we can get him into the minecart. All right, please tell me he didn't fall off to his death. And he's on, that's great. Then break him out of the minecart. No, why did he jump off like that? So this time we've got to be extra careful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a wall along here so that the villager basically can't overshoot. All right, now all we got to do is Hope that the villager doesn't figure out how to do something incredibly stupid and we should be set okay let's break the minecart so far so good now we've got to break the bottom ones first because if we leave the bottom ones then they can switch beds then we will break these ones and pray that nothing goes wrong okay they all seem to be in now it's just zombie time all right, so I got my little box ready for the zombie. Let's see if I can lure one of them out. Maybe I can get one of them back into the hole. I don't know. You know what? Only one of them can fit in a minecart, so come up here, guys. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, we need to get a powered rail, I think. Come on, along the rails you go. That's it. No, just... Come on, up you go, up you go, no, I hate this. Okay, finally. Oh, there's nine golem. Yes, it's working. Finally. Are you kidding me? Gone one block over. Just gonna do that. No, don't wanna do that. Oh no, no, the iron golem. Oh no, we know that it's working at least. Then we need to block this up so the zombie definitely falls into there. And we're gonna try this one more time. Oh no, no, it's daytime, no, no. Ah, oh, okay, just managed to save him. Okay, well, we have to wait till night again. So I forgot to record audio for this, but as you can see, the zombie kind of glitched out of the minecart and managed to escape. Alright, so that clearly didn't work. Basically, the zombie just kind of glitched out of the minecart. I'm not exactly sure how that works. But I think we should instead maybe go for the good old trapdoor approach. Just have the zombie follow us up there, put a trapdoor at the top of that, and then have him fall in. So if we place a trapdoor like this, and then we can quickly build up, open the trapdoor, the zombie should fall in. I think it's probably a good idea to break all these rails, because I'm pretty sure rails 
mess with mobs pathfinding. Alright, now I think just to be extra safe, let's maybe build some barriers just along here so the zombie can't just jump off. And then yeah, we'll be good. Alright, so now it's night time, we need to find a zombie that will hold an item so that he won't despawn. Aha, I found one, okay. This one is holding that item, so now if we just lead him over to here, run up this way, just hope he doesn't see the villagers. Come on, in you go. That's it, okay. I will leave that there so the villagers can't see him. Don't start spawning an iron golem until we're fully ready. Now I've got to make sure to cover him with a slab here. So now we just need to remove all of these blocks here. Get rid of those blocks and then place the stone cutter like that. They should, in theory, spawn a golem soon. Oh yes, yes, there's a golem there. Nice. Okay, that means our iron farm is fully functional. Alright, we already got 11 iron. Okay, villagers are up there, the zombies up there, everything's good. And yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the episode there because it's taken me literally forever to get these villagers villagers and zombies in, it was incredibly annoying. But in the next episode, we'll then use this iron to get some emeralds and then, yeah, eventually get diamond armor and hopefully make our starter base.